Hey everybody, this is Blair Clark and I'm with Clark Gas and Oil and I have my good friend Dennis Cruz with the Virginia Propane Gas Association. We were doing some training here at our headquarters and he had a wonderful prop, a hydrometer, and it shows liquid propane here that is practically in every tank cylinder that, that, uh, that we use in propane. And we wanted to do a brief demonstration of vaporization and while we're getting set up for that, I'm going to let Dennis talk about how clean and efficient propane fuel is. Well, the, the propane, uh, as you can see, uh, it's in a liquid when it's under pressure. And you have the liquid space and where the propane has boiled off, you have the vapor space. Vapor is what we actually put out to fuel appliances and one of the many advantages to propane is its expansion rate. When it boils from a liquid to a vapor, it expands 270 times. And that's why we can put a moderately sized container in your yard and, or wherever we need to install it for that matter, and cook your food, eat your home, uh, dry your clothes, uh, any, any, basically anything that can run off of traditional gasoline or you know diesel fuel can run off of propane. Lawnmowers, vehicles, weed eaters, uh, generators. If it can run off of uh, traditional fuels, it can run off propane. The advantage is that propane is recognized as a green fuel, and it's cleaner. And one of the things that I personally like is that 90% of the propane that is consumed in the United States is actually produced here in the United States. Uh, another 7% comes in from Canada, and that accounts for 97% of all the propane that is consumed here. Uh, I just like the fact that it's domestically produced and not you know, imported from somewhere else. But, as I say, it is a clean burning fuel, and what we have done here is uh, Blair has essentially hooked up a propane appliance system. We have our storage container, we have our piping, and our appliance downstream. And when we light this off, what you well, we'll go ahead and do it. You ready to light it? Uh, it, has, it has to go all the way. This is a little different than my toy. Yeah. You have, you, know, you have to turn it all the way. There we go. And okay. Set off the sprinkler here. That we're good. Don't mess with this. That we should be good. All right. Now, as the vapor is drawn out to fuel my appliance, the pressure inside of my container drops, and the liquid propane begins to boil to replace the vapor that's been drawn out. And if you think of it, it's the same as a pressure cooker. Uh, when you uh, put the lid on the pressure cooker, even though you heat it up above the boiling, temp boiling temperature of water, 212 degrees, you can keep it in liquid form. Propane boils at minus 44 degrees. So keeping it under pressure, we keep it under liquid form. But as the pressure drops, it begins to boil. What you see here is the only thing that happens inside a propane container. And people have a lot of misconceptions about propane tanks, uh, simply because they've never seen it. Uh, you've never been able to see inside a propane container, tank, cylinder, whatever. <coughs> Regardless of what size it is, this is all that happens inside of the container. We store liquid, and as we draw vapor out, the liquid boils to replace the vapor. And that's it. The uh, tanks are more puncture resistant. In fact, they're 20 times more puncture resistant than gasoline tanks. They're tested to four times their uh, operating pressure. And they've proven to be very, very safe. And it is... Yeah, I, uh, I appreciate that, Dennis. Um, you know, it, dealing in the gas company, dealing with you know retail consumers in our area, we have a lot of power outages, and 
we have folks that are interested in on-demand, um, uh, excuse me, standby generators. We've got a big honking flame, and so we're um, focusing on the propane boiling off. The larger the flame, larger the demand, the more it boils off. And so what I was getting at is daily, we talk to folks about standby generators and multiple gas appliances in folks' home, and we talk about tank sizes. And we want that uh, of all the appliances, including the larger uh, standby generators, to work efficiently when it is the coldest and obviously above ground tank with the you know, dew point with the colder uh, temperature, air temperatures versus a consistent in the, in the underground tank, um, you know, usually around 55 degrees where, where, where water is, um, can offer you more vaporization. This is what we're talking about. So we're talking about doing larger size tanks for multiple appliances and, um, and it has nothing to do with storage. It has to do with it going from a liquid state to a gaseous state. So it doesn't starve your appliances. Um, downstream from that, we also talk about gas lines. So uh, just thought it was a neat opportunity with Dennis here doing training for us um, here at Clark in Stewart, Virginia, uh, <clears throat> to have a visual aid to discuss about vaporization that you can actually get a visual on. And I just want uh, to, to show and take this opportunity. Uh, you all have any questions, please give us a call. Uh, at Clark Gas and Oil, 800-950-3772. Thanks for watching.